What's going on humans and spam bots? Today we're going to talk about some trigger words because as we all know, words hurt very much and we should avoid trying to offend anybody. So without further cockadoodle do, here are the top 10 trigger words that you should avoid using. Number one, redskin. Now I know there's a football team named after redskins, but redskin refers to Native Americans and we took away Native Americans land. And because of that, we're not allowed to refer to Native Americans. At all. It's too offensive. Honestly, think about how crass it is for a white person like myself to even mention Native Americans. Referring to them or even thinking about them is just going too far. Way too far. So the next time you want to refer to the football team in Washington, say the Washington diverse group of people whose land we stole. And remember how inherently racist you are, you white scum. Number two, feminism. Now I'm not talking about the movement, I'm just talking about the word feminism. Anything referring to the word feminine is absolutely sexist. You're implying that humans have gender. How could you be so close-minded? Every time I hear somebody say that penises and vaginas define gender, and that men and women have a different psychological makeup, and biologically speaking we need males and females to reproduce as a species, all I'm hearing you say is I'm a sexist pig. So when your child is born and you look at your spouse and you say, Oh, look at our beautiful baby boy. Think twice about your word choice, you sexist, intolerant bigot. Third trigger word, death. I mean, this one should just be a given, honestly. I mean, I know somebody that died, okay? And for you to even mention death is completely insensitive. Number four, cat. I'm talking about the animal here. You refer to that furry little animal as a cat, but you don't know what that thing identifies as. It can't talk. It can't tell you what it feels like. Deep inside its soul, that cat wants to be a beluga whale. But it can't tell you that. It can't speak. You don't know its feelings. Don't identify that cat as a cat. In fact, this goes for all animals, okay? Don't call that long-necked thing a giraffe. Don't call that pink bird a flamingo. They can't communicate with us the way we communicate with each other. We don't know what they actually identify as. Stop naming animals. It's transphobic. Number five, black. How dare you remind somebody of a different ethnicity that they're of a different ethnicity. If you say the word black, you remind a black person that they're black. That is blatantly racist. Stop using colors to refer to people. And don't call them an African American either. They were born in New York, their dad was born in New York, their grandpa was born in New York. You calling them an African American implies that they were born in Uganda. So the next time you want to refer to a person of a different ethnicity, don't. I am so sick of us flaunting our white privilege in front of other ethnicities. In fact, the races should be separated. So I've created this concept called separate but equal, where whites can go to another school and have separate drinking facilities, have separate restaurants, separate bathrooms, so that we won't make anybody else feel uncomfortable. Number six, money. You know, some of my friends at school have jobs, and when they start talking about their paychecks, it hurts. It really does. My second cousin's father is poor, and you talking about your $90 a week paycheck just makes it hurt more. Number seven, water. My science teacher keeps telling me that I need to drink water to stay hydrated for survival. She doesn't realize that my mom's best friend's niece's best friend's cousin drowned, and I don't need that kind of reminder every day telling me to drink water. Who do you think you are? Number eight, anything to do with describing sights or sounds. We all know the only reason you would do this is to flaunt your operational eyes and ears. If you're describing a sight, the blind guy can hear you, but he can't see it. He doesn't know what you're describing. But if you're describing the visual to a deaf person, he can't hear you at all. So don't tell your friends about the awesome new movie you just saw. There are some people who can't experience it the way you did. Number nine, offended. You're implying that my feelings are hurt. Don't you know that hurts my feelings? And the tenth trigger word is trigger. Triggers are on guns, and guns are scary. When you pull a trigger, it releases a bullet that kills somebody. My grandfather's stepbrother's second cousin twice removed's pen pal got shot. And the fact that you would say the word trigger to me is completely insensitive. You need to be more considerate of others. So the next time you think about saying anything to anybody, don't, you racist, sexist, xenophobic pig. Meet J-pop star Pring Chong Song, lead singer of the Push Pops.